Hello, everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson, also known as Bright Shine. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee, which is in Shelby County. Today's date is early Monday morning, July 28th. 2014, and all the time is 1.45 a.m. And I'm gonna date this video with yesterday's date, which will be Sunday, July the 27th, 2014. I want to first say thanks to all my fans, my supporters for all your continued encouragement and support. And uh, I'm gonna continue to uh, work, keep myself some income. By working at um, Maripride, which right here in the city of Memphis, in Tennessee, which is in Shelby County, right there at that corner of uh, Vance Avenue and Walnut Street. And I'm continuing to uh, further my education, uh, studying at Monroe College Online, and uh, I'm studying uh, business administration with a concentration. Marketing. I'm in the process of pursuing my associate's degree. And um, I'm not going to be long on this video. And uh, because, uh, like I said, I got to be at work at a mayor pride this morning at 3 30 a.m. But what I want to do on this video is, uh, like, I, like I said on my video yesterday, previous video yesterday that uh, this coming Friday, which will be August the 1st, 2014, uh, midterm, uh, my final exam, not midterm, my final exam uh, in my management class. So I've been studying, you know, I got to prepare myself for that uh, final exam. And uh, Gotta write two essays and uh, <laughs> and uh, I got three chapters. Uh, this exam will be on, so I gotta prepare myself. All uh, this week, I'm gonna be doing preparing myself to take this uh, final exam Friday and write these two ex write these two essays. For my final exam, that's part part two of this final exam. I write two essays, so I'll be preparing myself for that this week. And uh, on the, on on this video, uh, I'm gonna continue to talk about and uh. And you know, our conversation about traditional African you know, beliefs, cultures, customs, languages, philosophies, religions. And it's a very interesting uh, subject to be uh, delving into because I found when I, uh, even when you go online, First thing that comes up online, no matter what search you do, is always Wikipedia. And uh, you know, everything is wicked, wicked, wicked. You know, like a rap song. You know, what's that? Uh, uh, that rap song back in the uh, uh, early 90s. Uh, wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Well, you know, that's what that's just like that's what it is. When you go online, Everything that comes up first, you know, everything first is, is, is Wikipedia, wicked books, uh, wicked, wicked something. And you know, Wikipedia is a quick reference. And you know, it's a lot of controversy. Everything with dealing with Wikipedia or wicked books or wicked anything. You know, because the sources can be uh, not reliable. That's, that's the whole thing that Wikipedia is not is considered in scientific uh, you know in scientific community in school and acad academia you know, Wikipedia is considered unreliable 
All my, you know, everything that I look up online, you know, um, is not Wikipedia. And um, I try not to, um, like, include a lot of information because a lot of information, when people just like one person write a book, that's almost like another, like a, uh, a scientific book or a historical book. You know, they, they have a lot of references they sell. And you know, when you look in the back of the book, uh, the writer will give you all the references and things in there. And that's one of the reasons why I try not to be on a video. And then, you know, they just like traditional African beliefs. Well, if you look that up online, just look up traditional African beliefs. First thing will come up is Wikipedia. If you look up traditional African culture, traditional African custom, traditional African language, you ain't got to use the word this, just look up language. First thing will come up is Wikipedia. And Wikipedia has references as well. And it gives you citations. And uh, but the uh, sources is not considered reliable. And you have all these other references. Sometimes, it's like when I was looking up uh, uh, ancient civilization, you know, ancient traditional, you know, uh, like what it was, it was the origins of uh, ancient African civilization. Now, when I looked it up, you know, Wikipedia, give you some information, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll come up. But what came up was, like some books from Amazon.com, and then you might have a uh, different blogs, then you might have something from a website, as if all oh, that is reliable, you understand? And, uh, but that's, that's the reason why a lot of times information I try not to include it, but that's something that when a person write books, they don't just have, like, they ain't go out there by themselves and did all this archaeological research by themselves. What they've done is other people in different fields of science, and then they compile all the information, and then in their book, they put all the information in their book, and then they have to give references. That way the person who's reading the book will know where this information came from. So when when it comes to traditional African beliefs, culture, custom, language, philosophy, religion, that's where I find when you look at you know, when you go online, it's not that not that the information is not reliable because the really information is reliable. It is, it's a, a lot of information. You know, it's just like when, when the uh, origin of African civilization, when I find out, start coming up, it's because of DNA. Now you have the information because that's included now. Because see, in the past, there wasn't no DNA like it is today. So the research is dealing with DNA samples from groups of people all over the world and then you know making scientific uh, theories and uh, when you look when you look at uh, you, you draw conclusions sometimes if the evidence is is, is, uh, is very strong then you know it's, a, it's conclusive there's no argument then you have other evidence that could be, and then you have a theory, and that's what, uh, about ancient African civilization, about the migra migrations out of Africa theory, you know what I'm saying? So scientists say that out of Africa theory, 
is is uh, excellent. And then we have other scientists who uh, have this other uh, theory about early prehistoric uh, civilization about migration. <clears throat> so uh, the information that uh, I will uh, continue to uh, look, you know, delve into it. And uh, I'll be uh, still dealing with traditional uh, African beliefs, traditional uh, African culture and customs language and the, uh, philosophy, religion, for this reason, you have all these fields of science, and a lot of these fields of science uh, have a viewpoint that is not just a theory, but that they have, uh, you know, going through a process uh, disagreeing and then after all that disagreeing they continue to do research more and more research then they began to agree you understand <coughs> and uh <coughs> excuse me excuse me and that's what uh we need to be online we don't we don't doubt the source, because when we see through names, it's like when you are the classification of the African groupings, language groupings, and when they see the name of the science, uh, uh, like Greenberg, and you know, I can't name all of them, but Greenberg, uh, he wrote a book, Languages of Africa. Now, if you think other scientists today still trying to argue to go prove that Greenberg didn't know what he was talking about. See, when you go online, you see scientists today, all over the world today, in 2014, still uh, referring to Greenberg with the language of classified languages in Africa. See, that's that's what I was getting at, is that the source is a reliable source. And then when you go to Wikipedia, Greenberg is included in the you know, when you look, you know, like when you look up something in Wikipedia automatically can come up and then you see Greenberg languages of Africa. Well that is reliable. That's reliable. That information is reliable. You can't dispute it. You know, scientists all around the world, they not going to get into no argument about information that's written when you, because they've already gone through that. Now, today, you have other scientists that's coming behind Greenberg, and they still classify, you know, the languages, Afro-Asiatic. Nano Sahara, Niger Congo, AMB, Khoisan, uh, Austronesia, and then in each one of those groups, then they take you know the dialects, and then you might have some agreements and some disagreements about the dialects in each one of those uh, language families. And then it would be the same with the beliefs. Uh, it's like hunter gatherer beliefs, pastoral beliefs, you understand? Nomadic beliefs. And these are beliefs of a time when I, I consider hunter gatherer people just trying to survive. But you find out. Based on scientific uh, research, that people who are hunter gatherers, it's a belief. 
and we see people now referring to it as pastorals. Pastorals. It's a belief. That's what they believe. When we see people who are agriculturalists, that's what they believe. When we see people who are nomadic, it's a belief. That's what uh, we say. Uh, we don't pretend to build into a traditional African beliefs and uh, the culture, custom, and languages, and uh, philosophy and religion of the Afro Asiatic. The Negro Saharan, of the Niger Congo, and of the uh, Khoisan, of the Austronesian people of Africa. What we, because the scientists, saying that this is where uh, you know, the out of Africa theory and, and uh, many civilizations began, and there's a lot of information. There was, there was a group um, um, by Dr. Um, G. Antonio and um, his group um, made many, many revelations on this on the same subject and um, made many contributions to the um, research on this subject. About uh, ancient African civilizations. And, uh, that's why I'm just going on my knees tonight, but I know I got to prepare for my final exam and, uh, and go ahead and pass that test and uh, be ready for the uh, fall semester. And so uh, until my next video, again, my name is Eric D. Johnson. Also known as Bright Shine. I live in Memphis, Tennessee. This is in Shelby County. And uh, I want to thank all my fans, my support group, the team, encourage my support. And uh, in the very near future, like I said, I'm, I'm still working on my music and my entertainment interests. By no means have I uh, abandoned for second. My entertainment music interest by no means. Uh, put my emphasis on my uh, education. And uh, until my next video, take care, take care of yourself. And I wish each one of you the best.